Hello everyone, I'm Anthony and I'm going to show you how to play as a thug specifically on the Divinity RP server. A thug is a very dangerous and deadly class. Correct use of the thug can result in you becoming very rich or having a lot of weapons. Now when you play as a thug, what you're going to do the majority of your time will be mugging people. And to properly do this, you're going to need a powerful weapon. The knife is one of those weapons. It is very useful in situations where you can attack some unsuspecting people or if you can get a good backstab on someone. Shotguns are probably the most powerful close quarter weapon there is. In narrow alleyways, they are the most effective. Unfortunately, when you're attacking an enemy that is trying to dodge your bullets, the shotgun becomes a lot harder to use. The assault rifle is a very tactical weapon. Unfortunately, as a thug, you're probably not going to be a very tactical player. This weapon shines up long range combat or when getting an enemy by surprise. Now I'm going to show you how to properly mug as a thug. One thing you can do to make sure that your mug is successful is to always stay focused on what you're doing. As soon as your mind starts to wander away from the battle, you have already lost. On the Divinity RP server requires that you say that you're mugging someone in the chat. This can be very problematic because as a thug, people already expect you to mug them. This means they'll often have their gun ready to shoot you as soon as you type up the text warning. In order to stop this, you can bind the warning to a key. This will make it so that you can move around while putting in a text warning, which will make it harder for them to get that headshot on you. Here's an example of me using this technique in another where I'm not. I was mugging you first, now stop my dick. Now let's talk about the kind of enemies you should be mugging in the first place. Each kind of player has a different chance of dropping different kinds of items as they die. The Iron Kiss is a job that doesn't usually have any items that they'll drop if they're killed, yet they spawn with a gun. This means you can use them as practice for more harder enemies that are more likely to have items that are worthwhile. Another job you should look for are mob bosses surrounded by gangsters. These people are very organized and will likely carry AK-47s and G3s to defend themselves. While well, it may be very hard to kill these people, it will be worth your time when you get their weapons. One more group of enemies you can use as practice are police officers. Many police officers when attacked will use their assault rifles or shotguns to defend themselves. This makes them more ideal than anarchists to use as practice. One thing you need to worry about is getting arrested, because when you're arrested you'll end up spending a lot of time in prison. Especially because you have such low karma and your arrest time will be higher. The gun dealer is also a good class to attack that will likely have loot on them. Gun dealers are usually played by noobs who are not very good at using weapons on this server, so you can take advantage of them. But beware, the gun dealer is sometimes played by people who are very good at this game, who have hours upon hours on this server. Another group of people who are good at the game and usually have good loot on them are super pro thieves. A super pro thief is very hard to kill, yet will often have the best loot on them. Now that you know who to mug and how to mug, let's talk about how to raid people's bases. Now raiding is not the most useful thing to do as a a thug, but it's very useful nevertheless. When you raid as a thug, you simply prey on the weak. You attack bases that are made by noobs and have a lot of faults in them, like a base that doesn't have any keypads. This is because a thug only comes with a pair of fists, which are used to break down doors, but not with a keypad cracker, which is essential for getting past keypads. This makes raiding very difficult, and I don't recommend you do it unless you are with a group of people. Now as a thug, you're not going to be a very nice person, so don't be afraid of being aggressive to the people that you're mugging. Act how I do here. So drop me the cash. If you do anything but drop me the cash, I will kill you. You will die, okay? Death. Death. You will die. Threat to me? Is that a threat to me? Is oh, that oh, a threat? Crap. Kill him! Kill him! As you can see, it's a very hostile world out there, and the thug is meant to endure and prosper in all the craziness. If you're a very sensitive person and don't like killing other players, then the thug is definitely not for you. But if you want to make the people of the server suffer, then play as a thug. Mug them, raid them, show them just how miserable Dark RP on this server can be. And that concludes my guide on how to play as a thug on the Divinity RP server. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe. Good thing I have these things I could pick up. I think you're a fucking cunt, dude. I don't like you, you faggot bitch. Uh, I get you? that a lot. People usually don't like thugs.